MAGA Republicans have increasingly begun fear mongering about the white replacement theory. I mean, they had already been fear mongering about it, but they're really ramping it up as we get closer and closer to the midterm elections. The latest comes from none other than Marjorie Green, who loves to dabble in this stuff. It is her bread and butter, this is what she does. And so over the weekend, during a speech at Trump's Arizona rally, she said this. Joe Biden's five million illegal aliens are on the verge of replacing you, replacing your jobs and replacing your kids in school. And coming from all over the world, they're also replacing your culture. And that's not great for America. Actually, I mean, look, if there was some truth to what she was saying, I don't think it would be bad for America. If uh, immigrants were replacing the culture that we just saw on tape right now, that would be freaking awesome for America. Take the garbage out, that would be great. That's my take. Hope yeah. that doesn't offend all the sensitive little snowflakes out there who can't stand the fact that this is a country that was built by immigrants, a country that is enriched by immigrants, a country that relies on immigrants to provide food through the agriculture industry, to do the farming that white Americans refuse to do because it's incredibly difficult work. I'm sorry, I would rather have you know productive members of society in America as opposed to lazy, racist, disgusting, pathetic people like Marjorie Green spouting her mouth left and right as if that's a job worth protecting. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. Like if they're going to get rid of the racist culture that you're pushing out there, Awesome, thank God, finally, right? The right wingers think like, we own this place, we run this place. Oh, they wanna get rid of our culture where we put our thumb down and boots on our necks, uh, boots down on, on their necks, the minorities, the Latinos, the blacks, etc. What a great culture we have. They, by the way, Marjorie Taylor Greene, you do not speak for America. In fact, you speak against America. Your slice of the culture is trash. Yeah. And I'm not interested in that. What America stands for is equality. It's oh, I know to. you hate that. I know you despise. Oh, I don't want trans people being equal to me. I don't want immigrants being equal to me. Okay, so I get it. I get it. You, and so if you if they take out your trash culture, it'd be the greatest thing that ever happened to America. So we can actually be America. Now, there's other parts that I want to talk about. And that tiny little thing, she said so many stupid and hateful things. She said, they're replacing you, right? Okay, look, on jobs, at least I get it. I get the logic of it, right? If they just stuck with jobs, I don't agree, and there's nuance there, but that's an interesting debate. She says their kids are replacing your kids in school. What does that even, yeah, what does that even How? mean? How, what is that? Okay, so I immigrated to this country. I did it in a legal way, but either way, I immigrated. I came to, a, when I was eight years old, and I came to a third grade class. And you know what's the first thing I did? I found a white kid, and I grabbed him by the ear, and I said, get out of here. I now have I'm replacing seat. you. I'm re replacing you. Of course not. <laughs> no, I just came to the school. Nobody got replaced. None of the white kids had to go. None of the, any of the kids had to go. It was just another person in the school. I mean, I mean it's such an insane thing to say. Let's but he's, her entire audience is like, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I bet they're gonna take our kids out of school. The right wing them. doesn't even want school for anyone who can't afford private school. So, like, you want to talk about replacement? Let's just talk about the complete erasure of public schools in America, which would do what? I mean, you think we're in a bit of a pickle when it comes to higher education being incredibly unaffordable. What do you think they wanna do with grade school? I mean, they wanna completely do away with public education. I would say that's a lot more damaging to the children of all those Republican voters who attended that speech. If you're concerned about your children being replaced, be more in school, be more concerned about schools not existing for you if you're not incredibly wealthy and can pay for private schools. Yeah, so they beat up progressives over defund the police and, and, and I get it, right? But what they did was they defunded the schools. Everything. They just <laughs> defunded the schools so that your kids don't have any, there's no money for your kids to get an education. Your we now find it normal that teachers have to buy books and crayons and different uh, materials for their kids. No, the government's supposed to provide that. That's the way it used to be when we had good public education. Why do you need good public education? So that poor and middle class kids can get a great education. By the way, like I did in New Jersey, where we had good public schools, but that was a long time ago. Now, the only like they've eviscerated the public schools, they've defunded them, and they've replaced them with private schools for the rich. 
So that's what's actually happening in our schools. And look, Marjorie Greene, along with Paul Gosar and other Republican lawmakers, which I'll get to in just a moment. I mean, they've had their mask off moment for quite some time now. In fact, Greene and Gosar led a failed effort to create a new House caucus that they titled America First. And here's what their platform said verbatim. This is what their platform said. America is a nation with a border and a culture strengthened by a common respect for uniquely Anglo-Saxon political traditions. I no, mean, no, it's not. Yeah, no, it's, it's it, not. of course it's not. But it does show you. I mean, again, it's very transparent what their whole goal is here, what their objective is, right? They want a white ethno state. I think they're pretty clear and candid about that. And that is not what built America. That is not what this country is supposed to be about. And I'm just look. One of the things that I find so amusing is when right wingers cry about labor shortages. Because when you close the borders and you don't allow immigrants to come into the country legally, which is another thing that they stopped right during the pandemic. Yeah, there's gonna be a worker shortage because this country again relies heavily on migrant workers, heavily. So for anyone who's crying about the labor shortages, Maybe look into that a little bit, but let me continue. History has shown that societal trust and political unity are threatened when foreign citizens are imported en masse into a country, particularly without institutional support for assimilation and an expansive welfare state to bail them out should they fail to contribute positively to the country. The idea that we have an expansive welfare state is hilarious. This country offers no support for people. I mean, which is why we have a massive homeless population in America, one of the richest countries in the world. And the other thing is, I just love the lack of self reflection from people like Gosar and Marjorie Green. Like they really think they're the creme de la creme. Take a good hard look in the mirror, homegirl. Just do it. Listen to yourself speak. If you really think that you're above, Everyone who happens to be of color, any migrant, you would be mistaken. That is exactly the culture I would love to replace in this country. Yeah, so first of all, um, is America exclusively built on Anglo-Saxon traditions? Of course not, right? And the great thing about America is that it's a melting pot. We used to be proud of that. And so a lot of people bring in different cultures here and it makes our culture different than one that is just Anglo-Saxon or just Indian. Uh, referring to South Asian or just Chinese or just Russian. We're all here together. That's what makes America special. And so that is what they're trying to undermine. Ironic, like it doesn't mean that there isn't wonderful parts of Anglo Saxon tradition, like the Magna Carta, habeas corpus, which Republicans are now against habeas corpus. So it's the irony of ironies. They actually hate the parts of Anglo Saxon tradition, which are great, right? And so. But if you talk about any other traditions that com, com, uh, contributed to America, they're like, no, I don't like that. America's just Anglo-Saxon. No, you missed the whole point of the country. The country was built on equality and justice for everybody. They hate all that. They, they hate you, that identity it, of America. 100%. And they, that's what they want to replace. That's what they want to erase. And that's what they've been doing in the Republican Party. Yeah, and, and they, in the Republican Party, they talk about, oh, these guys, these immigrants are going to replace us. And they're, oh, look at all these welfare subsidies they're getting. What are you guys talking about? There's $14 billion in oil subsidies that they give to the richest companies in the world. Those are the real bums. Those are the real criminals who bribe politicians and then get billions in subsidies. What what is the so-called welfare state for? It's to help people when they're at their lowest so they can rise up, right? So, but they don't care about any of that. And then finally, look guys, this is not subtle. The the fascists in Germany talked about Germany first. And then their chant, which you saw in Charlottesville, was the Jews will not replace us. So now here comes Tucker Carlson, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Gosar, etc., saying the immigrants will not replace us. It's not subtle. Nope. It is full blown fascist. They're not talking about jobs or this or that. And if they cared about jobs, who do you think created the economic pressure that we're all under? Especially when it comes to wages. It wasn't the guy who crossed the border with a, without a dollar in his pocket. He has no power. It was the guys at the very top. And who are they and why do they never get criticized by Republicans? 
Well, the guys at the very top are all Republican donors. So that's why they want to misdirect you and get you to hate immigrants while their own donors rob you blind. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.